18 races, 36 days of competition. And for the final race of the 2021 UCI Women's World Tour, we're in the Netherlands, in the far northeast, and the town of Hogeveen for the 14th edition of the Ronda van Drenthe, where one of the flattest races of the year is certainly never one of the season's easiest. Drenthe, it's just a hard race, and it's long, and it has everything. So normally in this race, the strongest person will win. And yeah, it, it, it makes it a little bit easier if you're not really good in a bunch, but in the end, it's the strongest girl that will win. Yeah, uh, I know I'm here for uh, uh, end of the, the season uh, in the uh, best way. I'm here with uh, my, my team and uh, we are uh, so strong to, to end the, our, uh, our season. And uh, yeah, we are uh, so, so strong today. Yeah, really special and uh, yeah, when I heard that in the beginning of the season that Drenthe is moved to the, the end of the season, I say yeah, it's, it's perfect for me, it's, it, it needs to be, I think, my feeling. And yeah, it's nice that my last race and after 20 years high, of, high level sport, uh, that also my family, my family and friends can be there. Uh, yeah, I think that is an extra good feeling. Rolling out of Assen, the bunch was set to tackle 159.1 kilometres, which would include 10 sectors of very tough cobbles. And it was here the early solo break, Leica Neuyen, was chased by Janneke Ensing in her final race before retirement. As the two riders got together with a lead of 1 minute and 30 seconds, the peloton seemed happy. Though after Neuyen suffered a mechanical, they were caught just ahead of the first of four circuits around the Van Berg, the race's man-made climb where another breakaway of three led the way over the top. Once they were caught, it was all action, with plenty of attacks, as the race passed the finish in Hurgerveen. But as they headed back towards the Van Berg, two riders attacked what remained of the peloton. Former British champion Alice Barnes and current British champion Pfeiffer Georgie getting away. Despite a chase from one of the SD Works riders, the two were able to build a lead of around 30 seconds working well together and holding off the peloton, even on the steep slopes of the Van Berg, a section of which is cobbled with the brutal local stones. It was only just before they headed through the trees towards the double climb for the fourth and final time, with around 14 kilometres to go, that they were finally caught. Barnes's Canyon SRAM teammate Elise Chabé attacking first and taking a small group over the top as others struggled to stay in touch. With Chabé was DSM's Florcha Mackay and Elena Cecchini of SD Works, and the three were alone as they descended for the final time, leading on to the final flat run-in back towards Hohoen. But with three DSM riders chasing hard, Mackay stopped working, and the leading group of three became seven, including four from DSM. At the front, DSM worked hard, Franziska Koch lifting the pace to distance a chasing group before handing over to Pfeiffer Georgie, who led into the final straight, Mackay and Lorena Vibus on her wheel. Mackay took the race into the final 300 metres, releasing Vibus at 150 metres, the Dutch sprinter instantly getting a gap on her rivals. It was all power for Vibus, and she had the time to look over her shoulder as she crossed the line to take her 13th win of the 2021 season. Uh, well, the race went pretty good for us. Well, we we raced aggressive, and uh, the last time Van Berg, uh, yeah, we were in, or Floort was with two away, and then behind her we were at three. So uh, yeah, it was a really good situation, and that group came together. So we had a perfect situation, and Fiverr and Franci continued riding, and Floort and I could focus on the sprint, and we could even do still a lead out. So it was a really good day. Yeah, for me it was actually really easy to sit in the back and do nothing. And I had only to do the last 150 meters. So yeah, it was a really good team of effort and I'm really proud of the girls. Yeah, it was a hard race. And uh, in the sprint I knew that uh, with Lorena it's, it's hard. She's hard to beat. I tried my chance. Uh, I said, you never know, maybe she can go a bit longer and I can uh, win. But I'm happy with second today. I think it's the best we could do. Uh, in one point, the situation was not so good for us with two riders in the front. And uh, I have to say, Drenthe is always a really special race. Uh, you need to be focused the entire race. And uh, I'm happy to finish the season like this. Uh, it has been a very good season for the team. So to finish like this is nice. Behind Vivas, Elena Cecchini was second and Eleonora Gasparini third, their best UCI World Tour results of the season. 
At least Chabé was fourth ahead of Florcha Mackay, Pfeiffer Georgie and Franziska Koch, while Suzanne Anderson led the chase across the line, making five DSM riders in the top ten. In the final UCI Women's World Tour standing of the season, Annemiek van Vleuten is the best, with 3,177 points. Demi Vollering finished the year in second, ahead of Elisa Longo-Borghini, Mariana Voss and Cecilia Utrup-Ludwig. There was also no change at the top of the UCI Women's World Tour Young Rider classification, Neve Fisher-Black finishing the season with 34 points, just two ahead of Evita Music. Maria Novolodskaya was third, while Pfeiffer Georgie's sixth place in Drenta ensured she finished fourth, just ahead of Lorena Vibis, whose win moved her up into the top ten.